Hey guys, welcome back. This is Anya. This video, I'd like to talk about the problem that the customer made when they received the semi-assembled DIY kit from us with the JKBMS. This video will show you guys the most easy go problem part for you guys and also after the assemble of the semi-assembled battery pad, what should be done in the next step? Okay, now follow my video to check if you meet those problems before and how you fix it. Let's go. Okay, for the first question, that is, why I received the DI kit and with two switches, and what is the usage for the edge switch of this one? Yes, did you have did you have question for this before? What is the usage of the of this switch on the DIY boss kit after you assemble? The reason that is when you buy the JK16 series 200 ampere discharge current of the JKBMS of the JKBMS, it default with this switch come with that JKBMS. And when you order the display from the JKBMS, it is also with the switches. So when you assemble your DIY kit, the display switch already connected with the JKBMS and then they have the extra of the switch here. Actually for this of this switch it can be usage that is it can be your backup switches. Uh, for example if you have problems with your with the display switches and then you can use it as a replacement. So do you understand this switch is usage? The second problem, that is, why my battery shows 1% power after I finish my assemble? The answer is, please check your JKBMS if it's set to the lip pole of the mode, lip pole mode. Many customers didn't notice at first that the JKBMS the JKBMS is set to the LTO mode by default. You just need to select the one button of the left pole. Yes, it is really easy. My battery alone keep beeping. How should I do? This please calm down after the first assembly finishes. Please carefully check the alert content on your JKBMS on your app to check what the details problem it is. Generally, the alert is the JKBMS need you to change the password. For the JKBMS, the, the original password is 1,2,3,4,5,6 and you need to change the password as you need. And, also, and if you meet the problem alert like this one, Cell count must equal to the setting, so it means you need to change the number of the series because for the JKBMS, the default set setting is 16 series, but for this, this BMS, it can support 8 series to the 16 series. Some of customers they build the 8 series one. 8 series 2 power of battery pack, it can be also workable for it. And they didn't change the series from the 16 series to 8 series. So you only need to change the series by at your JK app. It is easy. The different alarm have the different codes. The following is for you guys to check when you have the problems. Oh no! I just forgot the password that I just changed it on the JKBMS. How should I do in the following? If you meet this problem, don't worry. Please contact to ourselves about the password changes, about the password missing. We will communicate with the JK technical, technical to offer you a temporary password. The following is here is the details of the solutions. Please follow us. 
Here is the phone in operation. If you forgot your password, please open your JK app on the on your phone and uh, there have three dots here and uh, to find uh, the version of your to find uh, your version of your BMS you need to screenshot this one and send it to ourselves. We will send the version of the BMS to JK and ask them to provide a temporal password. Please kindly note this temporary password only available for one hour and will expire during, during the hour. Yes, please kindly note and we can solve for you. Don't worry about it. If you want to know what your BMS done for every step, here is the details. Please uh, click this three dot and uh, system log to see what your battery do, what your BMS do, uh, such as uh, the factory setting, setting to the Leave pole or the boots or others. And if you want to know more details about how you, how they do, you can click the details logs and uh, download. And open it. Then you will see the details of your BMS due for this battery. It is very convenient and very easy for you guys to find out if you have problem with the battery. Hope this can be helpful for you guys. After complete the above operation, then we need to connect the battery to the inverter first and to test the inverter output is okay on others. Please do not to connect the grid to inverter because we don't know how is the inverter output. After you test the voltage output and the communication for the inverter and the battery is okay, then disconnect all the settings and to connect again for your system to connect the battery to the inverter to the grid. And if you have the solar system, then connect the solar system to the inverter. Then finish it, the whole system of your DIY details. Okay, hope above information can help you for you guys and hope every project of your DIY can work well. See you next video and bye bye.